Hi, I'm going to show you a basic GitHub workflow in which I'm going to modify a file using Git on a topic branch, so that's not the main branch, that's not the master branch, it's not the developer branch. It's like your pers it can be a, a personal branch. You'll show you'll see I'll use a personal branch. And merging it to develop, but it could also be another branch, but it's usually develop is usually the branch where you merge um, together where multiple people merge their work together, it's usually the develop branch. I'll be using that. And I won't use a code review yet, but that's why it makes it a bit more basic. Um, this is quite ruthless. And um, it's, for example, in the, the, the repository I'll be showing this, it's forbidden to do this, unless you're a beginner and you want to get some practice in with merging branches. But after a while, the code review will be mandatory. So let's take a look at the repository um, so I can show you what it's about. So the repository I'll be using is a trash informal repository, whatever that is. It's called basketball, uh, probably a basketball game, I would guess. And uh, what I'll be doing, I'll, on the Richelle branch, I'm going to add some text. So uh, it will be something like text to be merged to develop. And we'll be merging it to develop. So let's take a look what develop now has. It has something like this there. So you'll be seeing that on the reshell branch, I'll be making a I'll be making a change. We'll see that in the reshell branch, and then I'll transfer it over to develop. So we'll also see it in the develop branch. So we'll, in the end, we'll see it in both the reshell branch and the develop branch. Uh, what we'll be doing is called a merge. We're going to merge those two branches. We're going to merge reshell to develop. So let's go to the reshell branch. And also we need to do this uh, in Git. So now it's called remove demo text. We're going to make a commit there. So I'm on the terminal now. And let's take a look at which branch I am now. So I'm already on the reshell branch. Else I would have done git checkout reshell to put me on the reshell branch. And I'm now going to make a change so we can see uh, but that I really did something. So there's a readme file. It's common in all, in most GitHub repositories. And I'm going to write some demo text at the bottom. Here is to show how to merge text from Richel to develop without a code review. So I save the file. I close it. And now I can just add commit push it. I've shown this multiple times. I'm going to do that without too much talk. Edit demo text. Because that, that's the common workflow we already know, hopefully. So this is like a workflow you do after these more common ones. So let's take a look at how this now looks like. So Richel, this is unupdated. So I'm going to click here on reload page. And you can see that on the Richel branch, uh, there's this new text called add demo text. If you scroll down, because this we, we see read me in its full glory. And we scroll down and we see here my text. What I'm gonna now do is I get I want to get this work of art on a branch called develop. So the develop branch has still this this thing uh, 20 hours ago. I'm going to merge what's on Richel now to d with develop. And I go do this without a code review. So to get this work, I'm on Richel now. To develop, I need to go to develop. I need to check out develop. I need to do a git pool to have my work updated. So when I do git status, I should see nothing and I should be on branch develop. And the magic word is git merge reshell. This means that it says where I am now, I'm now on develop, merge the context of content of this other branch to me. So you merge to where you are, you merge towards yourself. I get a commit message. Sometimes you get this. Uh, this is apparently GNU Nano. Um, I need to do a control X, you can see it here. And then, then it's fine. If I do git status, you see that um, suddenly this branch 
uh, has some changes and I should use get push. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do get push. It, so these ten so this change would have these ten commits. They were on the reshell branch. Now they were suddenly on develop. So develop has ten commits that were not published yet. With git push I publish them. And let's take a look at the website. If I now press on reload, you'll see that I here branched uh, merge branch reshell into develop. Now, as a bonus, I will also merge develop to my up my branch. So now I will update the reshell branch by merging develop to reshell. So this is the other way around. So I'm on develop now. I'm going to go check out reshell. Uh, this is all clean, and I'm going to update it by merging develop to reshell. Um, this means that actually nothing happened. It's just that it's all updated. Uh, and you'll see nothing exciting going on here. But now the reshell branch is up to date with develop. They're exactly the same now. If you want, you can see this also here in insights. Um, and there's a thing called network. And we can see, so, so the, I'm not going to discuss too much this picture, but we can see that reshell and develop here, uh, it's a bit small. They point to the same dot, and a dot is a is a git commit. So it means that they, these two versions are exactly the same. So uh, this concludes my video. I just showed you how to modify readme via git. I did this on a topic branch called reshell. I merged it to develop without a code review. Uh, and I, I pushed it, I got it online, and then I did the other way around. I updated the topic branch too. That concludes this video and I wish you a very good day. Bye.